Hello beautiful Pisces, and it is the day that we have all been waiting for um, all year. It is what is the next 12 months in 2023 going to bring to us? And I'm going to pull two cards, one oracle, one um, tarot. I'm using the Sacred Traveler like I usually do, usually monthly, but this one I'm using it for the wheel of the year. And this one I'm using just because it's one of my treasured tarot decks. I use it on myself to just pull cards every day to have a discussion with spirits. So I feel they're loaded, they're ready, they're going to show us a little bit of what the year is going to bring forward. And remember Pisces that these are just, um, I'm going to pull um, just two and uh, we're going to take a look. Now I had already started in January. I'm going to pull them all, I think, because I want a bigger picture of what's coming in. Um, it's it's like having just a corner of the puzzle when you pull one at, at a time. So um, I've been fiddling. I had already started January. I was fiddling with the lights. There was a lot of clearing out, and that's the card that came out for January. So it's uh, I'm feeling right away like it's saying to you in January that you need to clear things out. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to leave that there. So that's January. If you look at it, you see the Seven of Cups with the Distant Thunder clear the air. So I feel that there will be decisions you need to make. But I'm going to write them here, Seven of Cups. Actually, I'm going to do that after Pisces. I'm going to leave them out. I was planning to do them one at a time and just um, leave it. Okay. So I'm going to try and fit them all here. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. We'll see. We'll start. We'll start. So that's January of the Seven of Cups and the Distant Thunder Clear the Air. Really giving me a feeling of, um, of making up your mind and really clearing. Oh, February. Very nice. To start off with, you have the Six of... Let me see. I'm still playing with the light spices. I think there's too much red on this table. That's why. There's just too much red on these guys. Reflect, redirect your energy impasse. Well, he's definitely on a horse going towards victory. But there's, um, yeah... see for March. There's a lot of realigning I feel from um, January, February, March with the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel there's a lot of clarity. I don't, well not a lot of clarity. Let's just put it this way. I feel that you in January decide that you're between a rock and a hard place and that you gotta change things around. Finding sanctuary, opening to your spirit opening up to your spiritual source. Okay, so we have a pattern established for the first three months of 2023. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you that's good because you want this to be kind of dealt with before you follow through the rest of the months. Because you have Saturn coming in, like I said on, um, if you're part of my memberships or Patreon, you will have seen that video where Saturn comes in. And Saturn is karma. Okay, it's, it's an, and Jupiter coming in with Saturn, it's kind of going, did you look at your karma? <laughs> Jupiter's expansion, right? So if you haven't taken a look and dealt with stuff before it comes in, you're going to, um, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. So let's see for April here. April, you have the Strength card coming in. Let's pull the next 
three months, April, May, and June. Answering the call. The time is now. All right. So right away you have the strength card and you have now's the time. I feel like, you know, you're, as they would say in, in, in French, pound on the challenge and, and, and go. In other words, like grab your courage and grab your bag and, and go. But let's see what May and June has to say. I like to see a full picture, Pisces. So we're just going to take a quick look here. Oh, oh. Look at that king. Oh, and behind him, the emperor. Okay, so he was hiding. He was very, he was very stuck behind them. At your root, at what propels you is the stability that you want to bring in. And what is bringing you forward is clarity of mind with the king of swords. So we're just going to put these here. Ooh, May, power month. Look at that masculine energy coming in. Okay, so Desert Passage. Trust there's a divine plan. Okay, so you see they're both, she's taking off and then you're going, and I feel like maybe you know that you need your fortitude. Okay, you know it's it's not as bad as it seems. It's, it, the desert, it, it, um, it makes you stronger, right? Because you got to go long distances without water. You've got to travel. You've got to trust your compass. You've got to go. So I feel that you have stored up that energy. I feel. I don't feel like you're. Um, that you feel out of place or scared or anxious about this, I feel more like a fortitude. That's the word that keeps coming in. Like, I've decided that I'm going. Oh, and there's the Ace of... in June. There's the water. Okay. See that water coming in? This says choosing your path all is possible. If you see that it's all people like going. Um, I'm gonna leave this one. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one. It didn't flip out, but it just made such a I don't know. It made such a big deal of itself in my hands. I feel that it's it's needed. I feel by the end of these three month period, you really you've already started. You're going the long desert passage. I feel that the fortitude, the emperor that you have in your mind, you've actually decided that you know where you're going and you know what you're doing. Okay? The water is coming back and now you have like this, you have greenery coming back. Okay? You have the green and the trees. It's not just the desert anymore. So you're starting to see the fruit of what you want is actually starting to come in for you. It's fantastic. All right, so let's hit the second part of the year. Let's let's see what else there is here for you, Pisces. Of course, Pisces, these are long-term forecasts, so anything can change from now till then. Okay. I like doing these for fun to just see the energy. You have the Hierophant in July. But remember that nothing is written in stone. You have free will. You can change your path at any moment. You can, you could decide that in you know in February that that all of this is going to be happening. So don't be held on too hard by what the cards are saying, because day to day things change. Life happens. You are cherished by the angels, protected by angels. By July, I feel that with the Hierophant, which is a very um, 
I mean, he's a counterpart to the High Priestess, so he's very much um, connected to the Divine. Okay, there's like Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, so um, you have the, look, the angels here. Um, I think you feel like you're, uh, July is a good month. It's like a month of feeling really connected to yourself and to the Divine. That's what I'm getting with that. Let's see what August has to bring as well. King of Cups. Yeah, I'm not doing any reverses for the year. Okay, just letting you know. I know it's kind of late. Um, this is the calmness of being. I've No matter what the storm brings, it's you being very focused and very um, okay with what's coming in. The answers are within. Taking shelter. I like that. That's that's what I mean. It's like no matter what the outward circumstances, you know that if you go within yourself, um, everything is okay. I'm feeling a theme for these three months, August and, so, and, and so far. July and August are very spiritual-based months. They're months of just kind of tapping in to your energy less less of the physical right or maybe just you know let's see you have the two of pentacles i like the two of pentacles again there's that storm raging in the background in the two of pentacles you adapting to what's going on staying focused hold the course again like i said i feel that uh, July, August, and September are bringing in a more spiritual theme for you. Some kind of like real Zen master type energy, if I can say that. Um, like you're going to be very focused. It's going to be easy for you to stay on target for what you are. You're going to be able to juggle things and just go, okay. You know, like I know where I've got to go and know what I've got to do. It's almost like outside energies are going to be there, but less likely to affect you in in spiritually. You know, your energy field. Your energy field is running really high. So we're gonna go October, November, December, and finish 2023. Okay, so we have the five of Uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Okay. So, I feel that you're going on another quest. By the time October comes, this is problem solving. This is somebody who's like trying to figure things out, right? They're brainstorming stuff. And this is uncovering. So there's something else that you're going to be fo focusing your mind on. Now, it doesn't need to be a bad thing. It could just be the next thing you want to um beautifully overcome. In other words, uh, the next challenge on your path, something that you've decided that you want to discover, okay? Let's see for November. <laughs> oh, you have the Ten of Cups, how beautiful, okay? Let's see what else comes in with it. And you thought with that five it was going to be bad, right? It's not always. The Five of Wands is a better five to have, I think, for me, because it's brainstorming solutions. It's going, let's figure things out. Let's see where this takes me, okay? It's like, oh, I have a problem. Let's put our heads together and figure it out. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. Okay, so very much on the path. Um... But because you have the Ten of Cups with ascending the mountain, I don't think this mountain, it's this mountain is something you've wanted to do. Again, I'm feeling that that last three months of the year where you're going, I'm going for gold. And it's not, it's a challenge, 
but it's not an unwanted challenge. I feel it's a challenge that you've put up. It's, it's a mountain you've had in your sights for a while. It's, it's part of blessings and gratitude and something like a big goal, something that you've wanted to do. Okay. All right. So Ace of Pentacles come in for December. Let's see what the last card is. Wandering path. Enjoy the journey. Plant the seeds. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, I, I like this year. I feel there's a lot of, there's, you're really going to be going for it. I feel that you're finally living. The, the one thing that I'm getting here is that you're finally not making excuses to live your life. You're actually going for it. I don't, it's not like I don't see any problems here. I do. There's challenges, but they're not problems. They're more like regular, um, just life, okay? L living your life. You're going to be doing, there's going to be choices to be made. There's going to be things to overcome. There's going to be mountains that you're going to have set your eyes out to climb. There's different things, but I feel a lot less, um, how y'all, apprehension and fear and anxiety. Here I do. In January, that's about the only place. But I feel like it's almost like in January you put out that New Year's resolution that whatever's left, whatever you're still sitting on the fence on, you have a feeling within yourself that it's time. It's almost like you feel like time is running out and that you need to start making decisions for yourself. Okay, it's like a, a they're showing me like a countdown clock and you're looking at it and you wake up feeling like it's there. That countdown clock is there. I need to start doing something. I need to make concrete decisions. Okay, and then you get to reflect and redirect your energy. There's certain things that to spell victory for yourself, whether it's a surprise or not, you're going to realize, I think I need to make different decisions. I need to redirect where I'm going. I need to figure it out. The six and the finding sanctuary is opening your spiritual source is that you're going to realize in order to feel a great deal more balanced in March is that you're going to have to tap into your, your spiritual energy a lot more. Okay, You're going to be talking to your your higher self and your guides a lot more probably than ever before. You're, even for people who don't necessarily do it on a daily basis and you just have a you know word conversation, I have sometimes, I sit here and I go, okay you guys, what do you think, you know, why am I having such a hard time? I actually say it out loud like I'm saying it to you. And usually signs, answers, um, something comes through, okay? Whether if it's needing that I need the block or I need to work through the block or they just give me an all-out sign and answer to my question. You will always get what you are asking for, okay? There will always be some kind of answer to you. It may not be the answer you want right away, but it is definitely going to be an answer. So in other words, sometimes they won't give you the solution. That's the thing you have to remember. You'll get an answer, not necessarily a solution. So, the other three months, I see a lot of strength answering the call. This is a lot of courageous. This is like, okay, I've set the path and I'm going. And again, it's not like saying that everything's going to be smooth sailing. There will be times where you feel a long period of time, especially here I feel in um, uh, April, May. May, you may feel like, oh, this is a long path that I'm going on. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but you have a lot of strength behind it. You have such mastered energy behind it of, of uh, I feel the confidence, the confidence and the courage. You're just like, okay, this is cool. And by uh, June, you're gonna re re you're gonna see water again. You're gonna feel like I can do anything. All's possible, right? All I need to do is choose where I need to go. If I had known this, I would have done it earlier. I feel a lot of that. Then in July, August, and September. I feel a lot of uh, you tapping in even more to the divinity. That's like I said, and deciding that you're going to stay focused on 
being on your path, doing what you need to do. Um, the Taking Shelter has got the Hermit card. It's a lot of within. doesn't matter how it's storming outside. The King of Cups, he's in a He's in a storm, but he's like protective. You feel protected. Even the Hierophant, I feel a protection. Protection from divine, okay? And protected by angels and staying focused. It's just you feeling very much within your energy. I like it. I love the energy in these three months. Can't wait to do readings then. Um, the last month, it's... I feel it's, it's because the card's coming like... Uh, ascending the mountain and the five of wands and you're thinking oh in the wandering path it almost sounds like it's you're going uh, I don't know but this these last three months I feel it's you stepping into your life not just this but stepping into the new stuff going yep there's gonna be a problem and I'm gonna have to fix it but if I can fix it. It's like finding, they're showing me you have a computer error and then you Google it and you do a couple of things. It's like finding the answer and the prize is that you get to use your computer again. You don't lose your file, okay? And then you feel like, I feel like I've done great, okay? I feel like I've accomplished something. You're actually going to meet up with these challenges with no fear. You're going to actually walk into places that you know needs to have a fix. And you're going to go, but when I'm done, it's going to bring me so much. It's going to bring me blessings. So you have that in November. And then you're going to pick the mountains, the next mountains you want to climb. It's, it's you unafraid of living, unafraid of, of meeting the challenge, the next one coming up. You're actually going to walk up to it. You're not going to go, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. You're going to go like, bring it. I've got it. Even if I can't do it, I'll do something. I'll do what I can. And it's going to really plant stuff in the, the end of the year that you're going to realize that no matter what comes, whether there are problems or not, you're ready to plant things and enjoy what's coming in. You're ready to wander in your life, in your path. It doesn't have to be so straight cut. You can take little offshoots and see what's there. It's a very liberating. I feel that this year is all about you gaining your perspective, your courage, tapping into divinity and just kind of keeping the momentum going in the right direction of you developing into that unafraid flower that you've always meant to be. So this year is going to be um, more work, of course, <laughs> um, but really, I, f I feel that every step that you take is just taking you further and further. I really like the energy this year. So I hope you can join me for all the readings in 2023 and be part of this wonderful channel. And, um, yeah, I'm going to leave you with this, love, light, and blessings. I'm going to write all of these down, so I'm going to keep track of it, and um, take good care. I'll be back later to do your weekly for the upcoming week. Uh, December is quickly going away, and um, a new year is quickly approaching this beautiful new year. I can't wait for you, Pisces. I can't wait for me. I can't wait to see what happens. Take care, and uh, see you later.